uh, listening to the staff and then um, uh, talking to our guys uh, about this one. Um, just felt like we were, you know, taking some steps forward there. Uh, end up taking one back tonight against a, uh, an athletic, um, aggressive, hard, hard playing team. Um, and I just thought Fresno executed their game plan better than we did. Uh, and, and what I told our guys when we look at the scope uh, of the whole game, um, you know, they scored 65 points, and yet 50 of them came off, came off of our turnovers, second chance points, and then us fouling them at the end and putting them at the free throw line. They got 10 points from that. Um, so our half court defense is actually solid. It's just that securing the rebound and uh, especially in the first half, taking a step back in the sense of the turn turnover department. Um, and we dug ourselves a big hold. Um, and, and we're not the most prolific offensive scoring team, so it's always tough to try to come back from a, a deficit like that. But I thought our guys came out, I thought TJ Taylor, um, I started him in the second half. I thought he came in with some energy uh, to help. Um, but again, I just, I just, I, I thought Fresno executed um, their game plan better than ours. For you guys to go more than 11 minutes without a point there at the end of the first half and the second half, I mean, was that just missing shots? Was that anything they were doing in particular on defense? I mean, I thought, I thought what they did was they, they went from man and, and uh, played a little zone. And to be quite frank, I, I didn't think we didn't get decent looks. I didn't think we got great looks, but I didn't think we didn't get decent looks. Um, probably settled a little bit too much for the uh, J-ball. Um, but, you know, given Grimes, uh, and Robinson's ability to protect the rim with their shot blocking um, probably affected some of that as well. Um, but I mean, even even with, within all of that being said, again, I mean, offensive rebounds, giving them uh, extra opportunities, and then settling uh, a little bit. And I get it. Sometimes we do have to shoot the three ball. Uh, but, you know, they shot 25 free throws and we shot three. And I, and I get it, we fouled uh, at the end to put them at the line to try to um, um, get back into position. But that's, I mean, we've had droughts. So my thing is we still got to be able to defend and rebound the basketball. From a rebounding perspective, I know we've talked about this some, but is there is there a fix on this roster to do that? Is that something that has to be gone fixed and recruited? Well, I mean, the kid that was brought in for that is is out on a year for a concussion. Yeah. Um, and then you know your second, you know, um, or more mature guy, even though he's on the side, is is sitting over there as well, just from a physicality standpoint. Um, and then I think Big J is coming along. I don't know if he's ready yet, just from watching him in practice. But um, at the end of the day, when, when we're talking about those type of things, you know, you talk more about being being willing to go hit people. And sometimes you may even get called for it, but at least it uh, sets a tone. And I thought Grimes came in with an absolute um, beast mentality of uh, getting on the glass, whether it was swim strokes, wedging, or just long arms and athleticism. Um, and it's not a, a individual job, it's a team job at the end of the day. And, you know, we, we, we didn't do a, a great job at that. Now, I thought TJ came in in the second half and, and helped us a little bit. Uh, I mean, they end up getting 19 offensive rebounds. We end up getting 12. But again, you know, I, I thought we dug ourselves a hole in the first half that was a little tough to come back from, even with us not being a high prolific scoring team. But um, I thought.
thought we did a better job in the second half defending and actually doing a few timeouts when I was looking at the stats. Uh, we actually scored it a little better, but again, this is not a team that's going to outscore people. We got to be able to stop, stop them and, and rebound. Guess shot, uh, you know, 32 threes tonight. Um, did you feel like those were those were good shots? Would you like the team to be a little more aggressive? Obviously, you guys only shot you know three free throws. Did did you like the aggressiveness and, and what's you guys good? Well, I thought we were we were playing catch up, and because we were playing catch up and some of it them playing a zone, and again keeping their rim protectors around the rim, that's just made it tough. I mean, regardless of the fact, you know, of going in there, you know, um, I think, uh, you know, Grimes and even Robinson, young kid, but I think he's very talented. Um, you're going in there and sometimes it ain't even a block shot. It's just, it's just him being able to vertically go up and challenge it. And even when we, you know, look at our, our young men outside of maybe A.J. Banks, um, you know, we're not the most athletic team in a sense of playing over the rim. But, you know, I, I think we do have a decent skill level to where, you know, maybe get it to the paint and then skip it back out. And, again, I, we, we didn't make them, you know. Um, you know, Thompson was one for six, um, you know, had five points. So, you know, when, when, when we're talking about putting ourselves in position to win basketball games, um, that's that's a tough number to look at. Um, you know, I thought Maldo played hard, obviously, but, you know, seven points out of him. You know, he's a guy that we need to score the basketball. But um, I thought they did a great job switching. And then I thought their bigs were mobile uh, enough to stay in front or, again, make shots tough uh, for our young men. Whether it be after games or during practice or whatever, I mean, what are you, what are you saying to to guys at this point, just to try to keep spirits up, confidence up as you guys go through this, this stretch? Like, well, I, the one thing I, I never doubt is our confidence. We, we may not come out and play our best basketball every time out, but um, our last two games, you know, being up seven with a minute and 20, you know, you're, you're walking away saying we should have won that game. Uh, we missed four free throws. Um, that could have been a separator in that game. And even the fact of when Jake went to the line, their coach was even yelling, don't foul. So it, it worked out for them um, that he did get fouled and did not put him in. And then you go on the road to Nevada and you're up one, you get a great uh, defensive rebound and we get a timeout and we come out and we turn it over and give them a uh, in a sense, a pick six. Um, but I thought the way we played in our last two games could have easily went the other way, but it just didn't. But to me, those was uh, those were steps um, in a sense of getting better and understanding that sometimes, you know what, even in our league, there, there are teams that are probably just bad matchups for us. And with Robinson and Nate Grimes being mobile, athletic bigs, um, it, it's, just, it's not good for us, uh, especially when, you know, Thompson is out there and they're switching, or, you know, you, even if you go smaller with um, TJ Taylor and Brandon Porter, you know, now you're just pretty much out there playing five skilled guys, but um, I credit uh, Coach and, and Fresno for uh, doing their job tonight. Today, uh, you know, you mentioned it. Malta mentioned it. You know, it seemed like a, a step back tonight. Is this, uh, you know, given where the season is right now and how things have kind of gone, is this a team that can afford step backs? So are you kind of worried about the mindset and how they're gonna, how close they were in the last two games? You yeah. know, like, here we go. Again. Well, I mean, I think sometimes that's just process. To be honest with you, uh, you may not like it. I may not like it, but sometimes that just happens. Um, I thought. Again, coming off the two, you know, there was a good, even a good mojo with our guys, even in practice, getting ready for this game. And again, now I gave them what I believe was the formula for what teams, you know, look at when they're uh, getting ready for us. And one of the biggest things is teams are coming in and 
and saying, um, we got to get on the offensive glass. Um, so, again, regardless of that's even, even the games that we do our job or do a better job, that's still the next opponent's um, goal is to get on the offensive glass. So it's not something you can do one time and feel like it's uh, fixable or solved already. You have to continue to do it, you know, night in and night out. Um, and then the other one I told them was, you know, you know, teams don't really look to try to take Mulder away. They actually look to try to take Jake Hendricks away in the sense of his ability to shoot the three ball. Um, but um, everybody in basketball, team-wise, you take steps forward, take step forwards, and you would hope that you don't take steps back. But when you do, you know, you only can adjust, you know, going forward, you know, go back to the drawing board. It's not like you say, um, we just took a step back, so, you know, let's um, pout about it. You know, we got to find a way to uh, get back up, dust ourselves off, uh, and go into a tough <laughs> environment uh, on the road uh, against uh, San Diego State.